Camp Lejeune, this mom for Point Marine Memorial is dedicated to the first black men to join the Marine Corps. These 20,000 stars represent those men who were segregated in service. There are no names. That's because there's no complete roster recognizing them for their accomplishments. But that's changing, and there is a mission to make sure their legacy is never forgotten. Just off the North Carolina coast, near Camp Lejeune. A ceremony and celebration of the first black Marines. They had to fight for the right to fight. 80 years ago today, at the height of World War II, the men started arriving for basic training at Camp Montfort Point, a segregated section of Camp Lejeune. The 20,000 men who trained there from 1942 to 1949 are now known as Montfort Point Marines. This ceremony at the Montfort Point Marine Monument recognizes those trailblazers who often go unmentioned when stories about African Americans in the military are told. But this is not just Marine Corps history or black history, it's American history. Four of those men were guests of honor at the ceremony, including 96-year-old retired Marine Corporal George McIvory. He recalls what he saw when he first arrived to boot camp. What I saw, I was ready to turn around. <laughs> they want you to fail. But knowing me, I'm dogmatic. Uh, I don't believe in giving up. McIvory is one of only 2,000 Montfort Pointers who have received a replica of the Congressional Gold Medal awarded to the men collectively in 2012. That means there are 18,000 men who have yet to receive this honor. The National Montfort Point Marine Association and surviving relatives are working to find them. It's a difficult task because there's no complete roster of all the men, but our station group, ABC-owned television stations, has been lending a hand to help find Marines and their families. I saw your story where you were researching and looking for families that were Montfort Point Marine survivors. And so I reached out to you and you got the ball rolling. LaVita Roca's father, Sergeant Thomas Reeves of Princeville, North Carolina, was a Montfort Point Marine. And she never knew of her dad's unsung role in history until recently. <laughs> Her family is one of 11 who received the Congressional Gold Medal at the 80th anniversary celebration. All of them overwhelmed with emotion over the memory of their loved ones and the historical significance of the day. What I see is the sacrifice of my father and other young black men that accepted the challenge to join Marines during a time when it was segregated. They had the courage to step up to fight for their country. Master Gunnery Sergeant Maurice Smith received the medal on behalf of his grandfather, Sergeant Fred Moselle. There is no way that I could have been a Marine today without Marines like him and the other Montfort Marines that, that served. His mother, Shirley DeBerry, says she always knew her father was special. That's why when she found out a few weeks ago he was a Montfort Point Marine, it all made sense. Amazed that a never before seen photo of him hanging in the Montfort Point Marine Museum on what's now known as Camp Johnson. Well, he would be so proud, and it would make him so proud that he has a grandson that followed in his steps. Her son standing on his grandfather's shoulders as a proud Marine of 30 years. If I could say anything to my grandfather today, we, we did it. We, we did it. These families hope the legacy of the Montfort Point Marines, just like the Buffalo Soldiers and the Tuskegee Airmen, will be revered in American history, and that the Montfort Point Marines are never forgotten. Akila Davis, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.